Okay, Breaker Broke 23. I had a request from Legend 813A. He wanted to see the inside of one of these Drake TVI filters. These are the Drake TV 1000s. These are a thousand, uh, have a power handling of a thousand watts up to approximately 30 megahertz. I've seen ratings anywhere from 30 to 32. And I think there's another model of the TV 3300, which I also have. I just cannot find it. And I think it went to 32 megahertz. So, um, yeah, these would work good for, you know, 10 and 11 meters. Okay, uh, anyway, he wanted to see a teardown. So, I'm going to open one of these up. Please understand, I am not a, a TVI filter guy, so I'm not the guy to explain this, how this exactly works. I actually thought this was like a T-match style, where um, this uh, inductor goes through here, this inductor goes down here to ground. But that's not the case, and I'm sure somebody's going to school me on this, and please do school us, school us all. So that's how those work. We have this little insulator here, so this actually, this bottom piece here cannot go to ground. We have the insulators as we go through each chamber. Okay. This particular unit is spot welded together as far as the chambers go. They have a spot weld right here. And, um, yeah, it's really beautiful construction. Look how pretty that is inside. Look at that. But outside, eh, not so much. So if you see one of these on eBay, they look like this on the outside. It may just look like this on the inside. All right. So I believe this is like a 60s model. And then I believe this is like an early 70s model. This is the same exact filter, except the chambers are riveted in from the sides there's no I can't see any type of type of a spot weld and yeah pretty cool they work for me that's why I got them I think I bought this one first and I had it on an application back geez 30 years ago and it got the TVI situation taken care of this one just kinda came into my ownership my TV 3300, I do not know where that is, but I'll, when I find it, I'll add it to these. Um, that one's a pretty neat unit, although they look the same, they're exactly the same. And then this is my Minty Mint uh, TV 1000, and I bought this in the box, right, at a yard sale in Squim, and I believe I paid five bucks for it. Okay, there you go, Legend 813. That was a great request. And uh, thanks, everybody, for supporting this channel.